Okay, today I'm going to talk a little bit about refurbishing the paint on an older vehicle and some of the lessons I've learned on this. Um, this is a 1993 Toyota pickup that I bought new in September of 93. It's now July of 2017. So this truck is just shy of 24 years of age. I think one month shy. So we're just going to call it 24 years of age. Um, I've maintained the mechanical on this truck um, to a T. However, uh, after about the first 10 or 12 years, I did not uh, do a whole lot of washing and waxing. And in fact, uh, after that, uh, probably for the last 12 to 15 years, it has not been waxed um, at all. So um, just, uh, just, just know that's the, that's the case and that's where I'm coming from. You can see where I have um, uh, buffed and polished uh, the paint here. The original paint was very, very uh, faded. Uh, and I knew that I could buff it out. The, the white spots here, that's just from the polish that splattered. It's very messy. But I knew I could buff it out because you can take your thumb or your finger, either one, and you get some result just from wiping off the oxidation so I knew that it uh, it could look a lot better than it did I didn't realize it would look this good so I'm very very pleased with it okay um, I bought the uh, the uh, the buffer from Harbor Freight um, it's actually a lower quality unit but uh, it did the job it's a uh, drill master um, and what I would recommend is anybody buying one of these lower quality units check to make sure that the backer plate on this thing um, spins evenly and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about it does not on this one which makes the job a little harder See how that's got a little wobble to it? That's because it's, it was not uh, built evenly or, or uh, built where it would spin evenly and uh, just not a whole lot of quality control, lower grade Chinese stuff. And um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I used, um, 30 or 40 bucks at Harbor Freight. Um, and then the pads that I used Believe it or not, these are the same pads, this one and this one. Uh, this one is, uh, you can see that uh, it is basically worn out. Um, uh, this one is getting to that point. Uh, and then use the, uh, the foam pads um, for the later stages. I started off with uh, McGuire's uh, the Extra Heavy Cut uh, 105, which is a number 12 cut. Um, then I moved to the number seven Meguiar's medium cut and I found out that I could actually skip this stage. I did not use uh, the number two um, fine cut cleaner. I, I went straight to the number nine swirl remover uh, which is a um, number three uh, and that seemed to work well. They're just three stages. Now um, if you don't have this kind of uh, heavy oxidation you may not even need to, to use this heavier cut stuff you might just start right here with, with this I'm not gonna show any buffing today um, that's uh, that's gonna be you know for other videos but um, I mean you can you can YouTube that and, and see that all day long but um, but anyway um, you can see that the pads actually removed paint See the, the uh, it comes off on your finger a little bit. Um, but uh, that's because this truck is so old that the clear coat is long gone on this truck. And so what I'm actually doing is removing old layers of paint. And the thing that you've got to be careful about is that if you've got high spots and you sit on them too long, and I, you know, I've actually done that. Look right here. You will see that I'm down to primer. That's a little bit of a high spot. And uh, I was trying to get into these crevices here too. So um, I'm gonna have to get some touch-up paint and, uh, and, and, and work on that. 
but uh, overall I'm fairly pleased. Um, uh, the two things I would change is that I would uh, either buy a higher quality uh, buffer or I would check to make sure that that backer plate spins evenly because it worked fine, but it uh, just made it a little harder to control. The second thing is I'd be a little more careful on the high spots. Um, but anyway, I, I thought I would show this and uh, help anybody else out there um, uh, that might want to do the same thing. You can get really good results. Uh, next, my next uh, phase on this truck is going to be to finish off the hood because I've basically finished uh, the rest of the truck except for this because I want to show a comparison. And then I'm going to be putting a couple of coats of wax to protect the, uh, the paint. So anyway, I uh, hope this helps some folks out there. Bye.